Hi, I'm Aaron, this is Kiara, and this is our dog Wild. We're travelling around Australia in our converted bus, and this week we're having a look at some amazing places in South East Queensland. Good morning guys, so here we are with another vlog. It's so hot, as you can see from our sweaty faces. We haven't been vlogging in a while, we had Christmas, New Year, Happy New Year. Um, I had my part removed, finally, so we are free to go to New South Wales But before, there are a couple of things we want to do here in South East Queensland Yep, so today we're going to go see some koalas apparently at uh, a koala reserve near Brisbane So we're going to go do that Daisy Hill Koala Centre What she said Almost there It's so nice. Can you hear the chicadas the chicad behind me? It's so noisy. Yeah, are these things, they're the claw marks for the koalas climbing up the tree. You can see they go all the way up. You see a spider web in the middle of the park. You can see it there. Look at this little thing, it's so huge. What is it? So fluffy. So just to explain you guys a little bit where we are, we are at the Daisy Hill Koala Center. It's a conservation center, so it's not a zoo, and it helps protecting koala and danger. Before the English came to Australia, the koala were hunted for food by the Aboriginal people, but were, they were also protected, they were considered a totem. But when the white men came to Australia, they started to hunt in koala for four. Now the 80% of koala population in Australia was killed and the 20% left is considered an endangered species which is very sad so be careful if you are in Australia please don't hit koalas with your car don't leave your dogs in the wild without leash because they might be very dangerous for koalas and yeah they are so cute so let's try to protect them it doesn't move as well as wild Oh, look at this one. They sleep a lot and then they eat a little bit. And they sleep a lot and they eat a little bit. And they sleep more and they eat a little bit more. And they sleep and they eat and they sleep and they eat lots. And they sleep, eat, sleep, maybe move and then sleep some more. <laughs> that sounds like an awesome life. <laughs> I want to do that too. So there's the average size for others may talk about. He's a little bit bigger than me. <laughs> he is. That's a very weird position to sleep in. So all of this is a conservation area that has been kept like it originally was on the south of Brisbane. So just down the road there is a highway and here you have this nice little spot in the middle of the nature. We had a delicious, delicious lunch in this Turkish restaurant inside a shopping center in Logan, uh, south of Brisbane. Now we're back home. This one is crazy. This one is sleepy. Exactly. And this one's going to koala. Do a koala impression. <laughs> So, so we are about to change campsite. Now we didn't even tell you but we are in Rosewood, which is not a very nice campsite. The toilets are a bit dirty, but it has free Wi-Fi and an awesome library just down the road. It's worth mentioning because if you work online there's a very good place to come. But anyway, we're leaving now and we will see you at the next destination.
Oh, there are you. Welcome home. I don't know why they told us to come here, but the toilets are all the way down there. What are you thinking about? Food, I'm hungry. Yeah, me too. Let's eat. <laughs> I love fluff. So today we are on our way to visit the Springbrook National Park, which is a couple of hours south of Brisbane and hopefully if we are keen we also go to the Leamington National Park. It's about uh, one and a half hour, two hour drive uh, from where we are, so let's go! So here we're here at uh, Springbrook National Park. Went up a really twisty mountain range, really steep. Probably not good for the bus, wasn't good for Betty either, she was struggling. Uh, but we pulled over to find out where we are and to see what we could do. And by happy coincidence, there's a little little walk that we're gonna do here uh, where we pulled over. So we're gonna go check that out now. The road wasn't very nice for me either. I don't feel very well now. So this was a 1,000 years old tree that has been cut down because it was too close to the school. The school was built in 1911, sorry, 1910 and the tree was cut down in 1911. So this was a school 100 years ago in 1911. The teacher was getting paid 80 pounds a year. Kids were riding to school, they were wearing shoes. And apparently, boys like to collect carpet and snakes. That is a practical place for us school, isn't it? I don't know if you guys can see that, but there behind the fog and the cloud, there is something which might be Brisbane or might be the Gold Coast. We're not very sure. So that would be the... Um... That would be Gold Coast, because we're south west of the Gold Coast, so that would be the Gold Coast, and we are very close to the border of New South Wales. Gold Coast, right here, borders there. So that wasn't a very long walk, but we are now trying to go here. You look very touristy. Thanks, I've got my map. Let's see? Well, Canyon Lookout looks quite busy. Let's come to the falls. There. Um, there. That's a big one. <laughs> and there is another one there. The path is not very nice. It's very cool, guys. Probably can hear the sound of the waterfall too. Look at this! It is so cool. That is awesome. This is amazing, guys. This is, I think, the best national park I have ever seen in Australia. I know I always say that, but no, they're all very good. We 
are going back up, but look at it, it's amazing guys. You need to come here, but don't come on, on Saturday or Sunday, this is it. Back through the rock. Alright guys, time to find something to eat. By the way, here's another tactic for you. You really should wear hiking boots if you come here. Well, as you can see, we're back home. Our camera battery died. But we hope that you enjoyed this vlog. And... And if you did, <laughs> uh, make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. Give it a thumbs up, give it a like, give it a share. Uh, you know the drill. Maybe comment on something you'd like to see in the next video. Um, and we will see you in the next one.